Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is my pleasure to address you today, and I would like to congratulate the Global Mass Transit for hosting the first Clean Buses in MENA conference this year. We are convening today to discuss key initiatives in decarbonizing public transport in the MENA region. It's the year of sustainability, as announced by the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, which came in line with the country's hosting the 28th session of the Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, known as COP28, later this year. As the country of COP28, the UAE has got two pivotal roles to play this year. First, we must welcome the 197 attending countries and bring them together to address the real threat of climate change, bringing consensus and defining firm actions and next steps to accelerate progress towards the world's net zero climate goals. Second, as a member of the Paris Agreement, we must ensure that the UAE is making substantial efforts to realize its commitments as a signatory. Cutting down on carbon emissions and ensuring sustainability across all sectors has been the cornerstone of our fight against climate change. Thus, efforts to target the climate crisis are underway with decarbonization appearing to be at the forefront of the UAE's climate change efforts in preparation for COP28. However, these efforts are not a one ministry role, but rather a whole country-led quest that all UAE citizens must contribute to. Hence, a more local level tests and trials of electric buses are taking place in different emirates within the UAE. In Abu Dhabi, for example, Mazdar, in cooperation with the Department of Municipality and Transport, officially launched its electric buses project Hafilat in 2019. The Dubai Road and Transportation Authority signed an agreement in 2022 with the Australian bus manufacturer Bus Tech Group to develop and test eco-friendly and zero-emission electric buses in Dubai. The Sharjah Road and Transport Authority commenced a six-month pilot operation of a Shangan battery electric bus in 2019 on the Sharjah Ajman route. Ladies and gentlemen, with COP28 to take place in the UAE in just 11 months, the country is gearing up its efforts and its fight for climate change and aims to present its decarbonization objectives at the conference with a primary focus on global energy transition. A recent step towards achieving decarbonization includes the formation of an expert group between the UAE and the US to govern the Partnership for Accelerating Clean Energy, PACE. Led by COP28 President-designate Dr. Sultan Al Jabr, Minister of Industry and Advanced Technology, and U.S. Co-Chair Amos Hochstein, U.S. Special Presidential Coordinator, the expert group will discuss transport decarbonization at its monthly meetings. In conclusion, while the COP28 UAE Presidency will highlight that decarbonization is a global imperative, it is important to stress that multilateral efforts are required, not only from governments and companies, but from society at large to combat the climate crisis. Thank you.